So we, we do a real transformation here from marching people to horses. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the Barnstable Barn Burners, which is the next group that we highlight. And of course, Barnstable Barn Burners, when you talk about individuals who are trying to restore the American cowboy, the American cowgirl, um, the historic reference, we have to recognize that there's discipline here as well. Okay. And there's discipline in every area, and especially you have to recognize, now, these are cars they're riding. Right. <laughs> this is the transportation in America. Uh, the horse was a, such a major aspect of transportation, especially in the West, mm -hmm. and the discipline. And I, I like the fact that these equestrian units that bring horses into the parade emphasize that harmony between rider and the horse. Mm -hmm. There is a relationship there that has to be very, very fine-tuned. Okay, and I think they're going to point that out in, exactly. in our next video. What's a parade without horses? If you ask these riders here at CJ's Ranch in Barnstable, they'll tell you it's not too much, especially if their horses aren't in it. Known as the Barn Burners, these ladies train year-round, doing shows and events all over. In fact, this group's been in the Thanksgiving Day Parade so many times, they all seem to lose count when I ask them. I honestly think we've probably done at least the last eight or eight years. Four now, <laughs> at least. It's probably three, four, five, maybe five. <laughs> Probably about four, maybe close. This, I think this is my fifth. No matter how many times it's been, they'll be there this year wearing their patriotic colors. We headed to the Cape to see this drill team during one of their practice sessions. Here at CJ's Ranch in Barstable is where the barn burners get together to practice. Right now behind me, they are practicing their barrel racing and pole bending, otherwise known as Jim Gymkhana. But most of the horses that are here are the ones that will be partaking in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Kathy Hill heads up this group. She tells us that they take about three days prepping all the materials that they need for the parade, and then they spend a few more hours preparing on the day of. We get up here, I don't know, we probably leave at six o'clock in the morning in order to get up there. It takes us like two, three hours to get our horses prepped and ready so that we have all the glitz and glitter that everybody sees along the streets. Um, the girls have to spend extra time at this time of the year because they can't bathe their horses. So the extra time blanketing, brushing, clipping, so that we're ready to present to the public. They play loud music while they practice as a way to desensitize the horses for the potential distractions they'll encounter on the parade route. Once they're on it, they need to stay in formation. We try to go in a, in a double uh, line as far as that goes, two people in a line. That just goes ahead and it helps the people be able to see us on both sides. It also keeps the horses, you know, a little more content in the sense that they have a buddy there. Um, so we try to do two, two at a time. We always send our American flag first. This drill team features a diverse group of riders ranging in age from 12 to 70 from all over Cape Cod. Morgan Hamlin has been riding for 11 years now and was drawn to the barn burners when she was just a little kid. I started riding here when I was six and I saw the barn burners performing and I thought it was really exciting and so I, we started out doing a little drill team um, we called it the firecrackers <laughs> then I graduated to be in the barn burners. Now a college student Heather Huska also began riding with the group when she was a kid and has a unique way of remembering each parade she's been in. I think we've done so many parades and so many events all over the East Coast that sometimes it like the years intermingle together and get blurred a little bit, but each time I remember the outfits that we wore and the horse that I rode or different things that happened at each parade that are special. In the short time that we spent there, we got the sense that these riders operate like a well-oiled machine, but are close like a family. We'll look forward to seeing them in Plymouth. At CJ's Ranch in Barstable, I'm Brian Sullivan for PCN. So the theme of discipline continues with the horses. It does. And you know, one of the, th one of the things they emphasize, Barnstable Barn Burners, is the fact of commitment, patriotism, and teamwork. And you can see that, that they're going to be riding behind a, uh, an American flag. Mm -hmm. There's that idea of lightning quick reflexes. Their authentic costumes are not necessarily portraying a specific time period. Okay. Uh, they could be, but the idea is they're, they're in costume. They're, that's an aspect of discipline as well. Sure. And so that relationship between rider and horse and that control and yet no abuse. You know, it's interesting to note that uh, back in our colonial days in the American Revolution, everyone was, you were judged by your character by how well you took care of your horse. For really? instance, Paul Revere, when Paul Revere read, rode his uh, big ride, it was a borrowed horse. And you, that was very unusual. You had to really know that rider because you would not want them to abuse your horse. 
Sure. Because that's your livelihood. That's, yeah. that's the way you get around. And so the idea of caring for that animal, so the animal has trust in you mm -hmm. as well as you have trust, trust in them. In them. That's, sure. And that's really portrayed in these equestrian units. And again, that's something that... Yeah, you don't you just, notice that as they just ride know. by. You I mean, just they're think, beautiful. Oh, that horse wild. just rides by? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. But it does portray that harmony and teamwork. Sure. Okay. So when we watch them, we're going to look for their teamwork. They're going to look for their discipline. We're going to look at their costumes. That's right. Okay. And sometimes even the speed of which the horse gallops with their hoofs, they just do it very, very quickly and then back. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all discipline. Yeah. It must be hard, too, for horses, and we're going to be highlighting a couple more horse uh, groups, that they can't... They can't just go. Yeah, you know, they right, can't do the right. jump. They can't do gallop. That's they can't right. do the things that. That's for another time. Right.